Hello and welcome to another 3D printing video. Today, um, I'm not going to print anything. I already did. But I want to talk to you about something. So, this is my very first printer I got. And I've had it for like maybe half a year now. And this thing, this printer, has some things that I would like better things instead of it. So, this, this is kind of like the gateway printer. And so I had to get another printer. And the printer that I ended up buying is the Flying Bear P905. And the reason I got it is there th there's three reasons. One of them is dual extrusion. This one just has one nozzle and one extruder, so it can only do one color at a time. But you could do the pulling out the filament and putting in the other next filament and do layers. But I wanted to be able to have like the colors intertwined in each other because that would be just really cool. So that's one reason I got the P9, uh, P905 with the upgrade of the two nozzles and the two, two extruders. The second thing, I wanted to be able to do time lapse. With this printer, it's not super easy because the bed's moving back and forth the whole entire time, and a time lapse of that is really chaotic and harder to, to see what's going on. So that was the second reason. And the third reason was it's got a lot bigger of a build plate so I can build bigger things. Because this is a very small um, 120 millimeters um, on all the sides, all the axes. Axes. Um, so, I bought the printer about three weeks ago, and I've spent two and a half weeks building it. It's taken a lot of time, and there's been a lot, so many things I've run into that I've had to fix, and it's still not even ready to do dual extrusion. I can't figure out a certain problem. But I'm finally going to bring it out here to my 3D printing area, because I've been building it in the house. So, in order to do that, I needed to build little feet for it, because this desk is wooden, and the printer is heavy, and if I ever move it, it's going to scrape it, and I don't like that. So, I designed this 3D print. So what it is, is there's two parts. There's some flexible filament, which I should have done less infill, because it's not as flexible as I wanted it, and some, this is a PETG filament. And so what I did is, you can see, there's a little elbow area where the leg, or the foot, goes into, and then, with this like donut-shaped thing, they fit into each other, so it's like s several layers so that it can sit down on my wooden desk and um, not scrape it up much and hopefully, I was hoping that the uh, flexible filament would absorb some of the, the vibrations but it seems like it's too hard, not as flexible as I wanted it to be so it won't do that as much. So I'm finally going to move my printer out here. Let's do this. Okay. I actually need to take this last part off my print bed. So I actually printed the PETG clear parts that I just got actually yesterday, the um, filament yesterday. I printed on my Flying Bear printer and then the flexible parts. So I didn't know if my printer would do it yet. I didn't want to try it. I printed on my Monoprice. So got it off. And that completes the last corner. So I brought my printer out, it's right over there on the floor, and I'm going to go grab it and see if I can bring it up here. Oh boy. Uh, wow. That is, um, that is very large. That is, um, hmm. That seems kind of precarious. Well, I'm going to put the feet on. Yes, that one went in my chair out of the way. Put this next one in. Uh -oh. oh, it's on its cord. Oh boy. This one's in. Not anymore. And it's on something again. Wait a second. Okay. Going in for the back legs. There's still support material in there. Whoops. Okay. Let's do this. It's in. And last corner piece. Right here. Going around this side. And then over here. Whoops. And it is in. Yay-ish. Um, 
Okay, so there is one problem. Not with my feet, but with this desk. It is quite small, if you can tell. These are almost off the edge, the feet, and the filament on the back spool is pushed up against the wall. And that is not good. So, well, it's up there. Finally, yay! So, whoops. I'll just bang everything against the wall. That is my new printer. It is a lot bigger than my Monoprice Select Mini. And I'm going to do great things with this. Thanks for watching, guys. If you would like to see these uh, printer feet model on Thingiverse, give this video a like. If I get, let's say, one like, I will put it on Thingiverse, okay? And if you like 3D printing stuff on big printers or small printers, subscribe to my channel. And of course, leave a comment which of these printers you would rather have. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.